Starting this depiction of Leopold II, um, Leopold was, well, among other things, a kind of emperor, for those of you guys who don't know. And uh, if you don't know, it's not surprising. He's one of those people that's been kind of ignored by... Well, it's hard to say he's been ignored. I mean, there's a certain... Like, he, he certainly has not gotten the attention that he warrants. Um, but this is one of the worst human beings that's ever lived. And uh, I'm trying to do him justice... <laughs> as it were there's that old quote about there being no such thing as justice inside or outside of court and Leo is a pretty good example of that being the case um, this is a guy who scammed his way into a whole bunch of stuff um, he did it from the point of view of a royal, which is its own scam and depravity. I um, hate to have to break that to you guys who are big fans of Disney princesses. But, um, yeah. And you wouldn't know much of it to look at him. I mean, that's kind of the point in this whole project is that um, the worst of us look like the rest of us. But, um, yeah, Leo here oversaw the Congo during a particularly brutal period of rampant imperialism. And imperialism might not even be a strong enough term to describe what it was that Leo was engaging in. Um, imperialism, of course, apply, implies... A very unfair system where the colonized are oppressed underneath the boot heels of some sort of nominally more advanced power. In this case, of course, um, imperialism is something of a short term he he engaged in a genocide um he he murdered and oversaw the murder of many many millions of people in a particularly horrifying and brutal fashion and they did it under the name of prophet of course if you make a lot of money killing off a lot of people these days or historically for that matter People don't seem to mind that so much. <laughs> um, not quite sure, sure how that works in the psychology of humanity, but that's how it works. And Leo here is one of the guys who got away with it for a very, very long time. And I don't think it's really even arguable. I think it's inarguable that Central Africa is still reeling from the after effects of his reign. Um, working on the outline at this point, and I haven't quite gotten to any sort of particular details, but he does have these, uh, this, this beard of course is the, the most dramatic feature um, we're going to have to see how that plays out because it's kind of weirdly grizzled and unkempt considering who this guy was. Um, there's other photos. I have other photos that I use as references where his he looks a, a, a lot more put together than in this one. But the goal here for this project is to create depictions of these guys without their accoutrement, without their uniforms. Um, a lot of these guys really loved a uniform. 
and a lot and without any sort of imperial or royal regalia since again I'm trying to depict their humanity and now people will will object to me using that term they'll object to me using the term humanity in reference to these guys who are monsters well I, I understand and I sympathize with that opinion um, I, I have to respectfully disagree because, well, you know, the only real monsters are humans. There is no Dracula. I, I'm perfectly happy to draw a picture of Dracula under the understanding that what we think of as Dracula is a real warping of an historical figure. And to portray that person as you know something fictive which is fine so long as everybody understands that's what it is in this particular case though we got a guy who oversaw the kind of brutalities that I won't really go into too much details here because um you know, if you're really interested in that sort of information, it's not that difficult to find. And in fact, I would encourage you to, to educate yourself on the on the, his his activities and how that actually came about. Um, but I'll, I'll, you know, there were, there were a lot of really really horrible physical violence acts done in his name, which is. Something that people people will give him an out for. They'll say, "Well, you know, he wasn't he wasn't responsible because it was done in his name." This is one of those constant arguments that, frankly, submental lackwits engage in because they hold the rest of us to a standard that they specifically will not hold the object of their worship, in this case a royal, they won't hold that person to the same standard that they hold the rest of us. And then the same person will will turn around and talk about, oh, well, you know, you know he's, he's so human and like the rest of us. Well, if he's human and like the rest of us, he can't be both, right? He has to be either like the rest of us and therefore gets the same consequences and the same treatment and the same assessment or he's not in which case he's an alien and you should stay away from him <laughs> but uh, in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and see how much further I get along in this and then give you guys another update later alright thank you much bye bye